The Supreme Court today ruled that abortion is completely a private matter to be decided by mother and doctor in the first three months of pregnancy. In 1973, the Supreme Court affirmed in Roe v. Wade a woman's constitutional right to make her own medical decisions, including her right to choose an abortion. But in the 40 years since, conservatives have been slowly chipping away at those rights. In 2013, Texas passed one of the country's most restrictive abortion laws in HB2. A so-called trap law, HB2 is aimed at limiting women's access to a safe and legal abortion by targeting clinics and abortion providers. It created a set of unnecessary and unrealistic rules that abortion clinics must meet or face closure. And the law banned abortions outright after 20 weeks, with virtually no exceptions. Texas officials sold the law as a way to protect women's health, but it has done the opposite. Since the law passed, many of the state's abortion clinics have been forced to shut down. In some parts of the state, women would need to drive hundreds of miles to access abortion care. For low-income women in particular, the cost of such a trip can become untenable. In 2014, abortion provider Whole Women's Health sued the state on the grounds that the law is unconstitutional. They argue it creates an undue burden on women seeking an abortion. If the Supreme Court decides to uphold this law, it could allow other states with conservative legislatures to pass similar or even more extreme measures. In large swaths of the country, women could completely lose their access to abortion care. In the nation's most conservative states, Roe versus Wade could become meaningless. These restrictions are an assault on women's health and their ability to determine their futures.